All right, in this screencast, I'll show you how to make your character jump. So, so far, what we've done is we've made our character fall and then have him hit this platform here. And then we've cleaned up how he hits the platform in case he actually falls into the platform. So right now, our character is standing on the platform. And when we jump, we want him to jump straight up. To do this, to add jumping, we're going to go to our player class. And we need to add a couple things. So we're going to scroll to the top of our player class. And we're going to add some variables to help us. We're going to go private, boolean, and we're going to call that jumping. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep track of if our player is jumping or not. Remember, booleans are either true or false. So he either it's either going to be true when he's jumping or false when he's not jumping. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a private integer called jump strength. And that's actually going to control how 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 far up our character jumps. Right now I have it set to 20. And the way this works is that our character falls using vertical speed. So when our character is up in the air, vertical speed pulls him down. In green foot, 0, 0 is here, and on the y-axis, as he goes down, this is a positive number. So when he jumps, we're actually going to subtract his jump strength and then we're going to use our fall method to pull him back down. So we're going to so jump strength is going to be a negative number that's going to pull him up. So we have a private boolean jumping to keep track of whether our character is jumping or not, and a private integer called jump strength, which is going to be how far up and down our character is going to move. Now, before we actually make a method to make him jump, we have to modify the methods that we already have. So we're going to start with falling. And what we're going to say is that if our character is falling, we're also going to say that jumping equals true. And what that's going to do is he's not really jumping when he's falling, but it's going to prevent the computer from letting you jump while you're falling. So you don't get that weird double jump that goes on sometimes. You're not allowed to jump in midair. You have to be touching something. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say that in our on ground method, we're going to go down to where it says if ground is null. Remember, null means nothing, so there's no ground below him. So we're going to add right in front of the return statement, we're going to say that jumping equals true. Okay, remember that ground double equals null like this is saying there's no ground under him, and this is control controlling our falling. So again, we're going to make this. We're going to make this equal true. All right, and the last thing that we're going to add here is we're going to go to our move to ground statement. And what this does, remember, this is the cleanup statement, which makes our player, when he hits the ground, puts him back on top. So at the bottom of this statement, we're going to say that if we move him to the ground, which means putting him on the ground, jumping equals false. It means he's not jumping, and when jumping is false, that means that we'll be ready to make him jump. Now we're ready to write our jump method, so I'm going to come down to the bottom, and I'm going to say that um, we're going to write our jump method here. So I'm going to say public void, and I'm going to call it jump, and what we're going to do is add some curly braces, just like that. And we're going to say v speed equals v speed minus jump strength. And remember that what we're going to do is we're going to take the jump strength and we're going to subtract it from v speed. And that's going to put our character up in the air and it's going to make him move up. Okay. After we subtract that jump speed from v speed, that's actually going to make him be up in the air. So when he's up in the air, we're going to say that jumping equals true. So the computer can keep track of whether our guy is jumping or not. And so the next thing we're going to do is, if our guy's in midair, the next thing he should do is he should fall. So we're going to call our fall method right now. We're going to say that we need him to fall back down. So essentially, this is what's happening. When our guy is on the ground, when we enable the jump method, we're going to subtract drinks, jump strength from vertical speed, and we're going to put him way up there. And then when he gets to the top and it's done subtracting the jump strength, then he's going to fall back down. So we're going to use the methods that we already have. Now if we run this, 
right now. Nothing's happening. Well, nothing happens because I haven't compiled it either. But if I run it right now, he's not going to jump because I don't have any keyboard controls to make him jump. So now what we're going to do is we have to add a keyboard control method. So I like to put it up towards the top right underneath act because our keyboard control method is where all the action really happens. So we're going to make a public void, another method called check key. And what this is going to do is it's going to check the keyboard. And we check the keyboard using if statement. So we're going to say if, we're going to say greenfoot dot is key down. And we're going to say on my game it's going to be Z. So if the key down, if I press Z, and I'm going to say and jumping equals false. And that's going to say that it, the keyboard has to have Z pressed and my guy can't be jumping to make him jump. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, if all that's happening, jump. Just like that. And we close that curly brace up. This method is going to get bigger as we move along. But for right now, we're just going to leave just jumping in there. Now, we need to check our keys in our act method like this so that when I press Z and he's not jumping, my guy will jump. So if I compile this, I should get no errors. And I come out to my platformer and compile that. When I press run, he falls down. When he's hitting the ground, he's not jumping, so I should be able to press Z and he should jump. And I can't jump when he's in the air, so I'm trying to hold down Z right now to see if he can double jump and he can't. So that's how to add jumping to your platformer.